Trinity College Dublin. These pay cuts are ridiculous. I can't understand how even in our four years training we do 1,850 hours supernumerary unpaid. It's proposed that we do a 36 week internship as a paid employee of the hospital for in our fourth year. We have a huge amount of responsibility, accountability. You work nights, weekends, days, everything. With these pay cuts how are we supposed to survive? We'd have to work alternative jobs we will be tired, patient care will be compromised. I don't understand how this is supposed to go ahead. My name is Paul Kenny, I'm a third year general nurse in Trinity College attached to St James's Hospital. These cuts are outrageous, they're not just, they're unjustified. Not only will they affect me and my fellow friends um, across the country, but they'll affect patient care number one. Already the country has gone through moratoriums, uh, redeployments, cutbacks to tremendous amounts and again we're being the frontline services are being cut this is not fair hi my name is Deirdre Rochford I'm an intellectual disability student nurse in Trinity College um, we're here today to protest against the four-year um, pay cuts um, when I entered into this um, career it was in the knowledge that uh, in four-year we'd be paid 80% of a nurse's wage um, as you can see the, with the protesting and all that's going on they're trying to reduce that um, I have two children and one child with an intellectual disability and um, I want to be able to give them a better quality of life and uh, pay my mortgage and pay our bills and this has uh, an extreme effect on our on my family a negative effect on my family and I hope that it changes and we all want it to change. Hi my name is Kelly Sweeney I'm a third year student in Trinity College I think it's an absolute disgrace that they got a core 40 years wages we work as as staff nurses basically and staff nurses just supervise us um, I have a mother who's not well and she can't support me on her 200 euro a week so I need this money to be able to keep a roof over our heads. Also I think it's very, um, it's, it's kind of a gender issue as well. They're not cutting um, student uh, guardy or they're not cutting um, student uh, prison officers, they're just going for it. For the nurses, well that's more of a female gender. I just think it's an absolute disgrace. Hi, I'm a second year general nurse in Trinity College Dublin. I'm doing I'm here in James's. Um, I'm out here today because I think this is absolutely disgraceful. I can't understand why our 
internship pay cut has been cut. Our Garda Siakana have um, full, play, full paid placement for their training and they're guaranteed a post at the end of it. The same for our prison officers. Uh, they do fantastic work, don't get me wrong. Um, our nurses are only asking for this 36 week internship payment. We are not paid for the 1,300 hours that we do post our internship. And I think this is an absolute disgrace. And as students, we are not standing for this. Vivian Riley, I'm also a TCD student, second year general nurse in St. James's Hospital. I think it's disgraceful what they're doing to us. They can't expect years before us all got paid. Why are they cutting it now? Where's the money going that's been taken from us? Who's gaining when we're losing? And I just think it's a disgrace. And that the turnout today was great, but we still need to do a lot more work to make them listen to us and take heed of what we're saying. Hi, my name is Zoe Finnegan. I'm a second year uh, general nursing student at Trinity College Dublin. Um, I'm here today because uh, I know how much the services the student nurses in colleges across the country mean to the general public and obviously don't mean a lot to the HSE and our current government. Um, I'm here just to make our voices heard and it's absolutely ridiculous for the amount of work we do to be fully fledged like working hours and working weekends and nights um, they're just if there's there needs to be something done and uh, something done soon the protest here in St. James was a great success with over 350 students from all years here and the General Secretary made an impassioned plea that this campaign will stay on course until it's successful